Hi, I'm Tim McCurcher with sea Media Relations, and we're here to look at the brand new sea GTX Limited. It's an entirely new platform for 2018, and it makes up half the lineup. It's on an entirely new hull called the ST3 hull. It's incredibly stable, and it's a little bit wider than any sea hull that we've ever had. We've actually lowered the rider center gravity as well, so it's 30% more stable. So whether you're at speed, or you're at idle, or you're just floating in a bay, you can really feel very confident that you're stable, that you're not gonna tip. So it really makes it a whole lot more fun. So some of the other aspects that make this platform really unique is the sound system. So it has the first ever factory installed Bluetooth sound system, a 100 watt system. It's designed to be integrated with this unit. The sound is directed to the rider, so it's not uh, have a lot of noise pollution out on the water. It's just for the rider. And easy access within the glove box is a waterproof phone case. So to control your sound, you can have your smartphone in here. We actually have a USB charger. And then we can take our phone out and through Bluetooth, we can play our favorite music while we're riding. Because boating and music always go together. It always makes it a whole lot more fun. So this locks here completely waterproof totally safe now one of the other aspects as far as convenience and ease to use is the storage so we've changed the storage design where past watercraft to access the storage you had to climb over the the handlebars and that's not always easy to do if you're you're at a marina or you're out in open water so now from a seated position we can simply open the entire front storage area. So we have a huge cavernous uh, storage area in here. This is one of our accessories. I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. But everything you need for a day on the water, uh, we've got ropes, we've got storage, we've got some swim. It'll hold everything, <laughs> including the kitchen sink. So it's got a lot of storage in here to uh, show everything that you might take out on the water. Obviously, you're not gonna take this out, but it's just for dramatic effect. This is our storage compartment. Now, one of the other really cool aspects is we're trying to extend the adventure. We want everybody to have their own epic adventure. So we want them to be able to take whatever they want out on the water uh, for that day. So now we have this huge rear deck area. It's really flat. And what that does, we can take this rear seat off and now we have a really big flat deck area. So if somebody really just wanted to hang out and uh, you know, out on the Biscayne Bay or wherever and they just wanna hang or they go to Bimini, they can put their music on and just hang out and lounge here. Now, if they wanna go on a, a long ride, then maybe they want to extend their range a little bit. So this is where we have what we call our link accessory system. And one of our new accessories is this 4.4 gallon fuel jug. So now this fuel jug very simply plugs on here, it locks on, so it's very, very secure. Now we have four extra gallons of fuel so now we don't have to worry about how far we're going as much as, as we used to. Now we can go a little bit further. And if we're going further, let's just say that uh, we're going on an overnight trip, we've got all the storage in the front, but maybe we wanna bring some more uh, things with us. So now we actually have a dry bag as well. Actually it goes on this way, so it locks on. So now we have a dry bag. This will hold towels, whatever you may need, completely waterproof. Just roll this up and it plugs right on top of the fuel caddy. So now it's really plug and play. It's like an app on a phone. Whatever you wanna do that day, we've got an app for that. So with the link system, we can extend what we wanna do on the water. Now again, as I mentioned, it's plug and play. So we can remove this, and let's just say we're going to the sandbar. Now we can also bring the cooler. 
So now I'm gonna take it off this machine, come over here, and on the same link connection, you can plug in the cooler. And it's a very high quality, uh, the standards of today, as far as the coolers. And we've got ice, put your drinks in here. So a very thick, high quality cooler. You put your drinks in here today, they're still cold tomorrow. So that's three different uh, accessories that you can add to this machine depending on what you're doing that day. Now it's very rare that somebody gets a watercraft and at some time they don't pull a wakeboarder or a skier or a tube. So now we've got our tow pylon. So the tow pylon simply plugs in again. It's part of the link system locks on I can put the seat here now what this does is this is a tow pylon for skiing so this pulls up and you attach the rope here so it pulls the rider up out of the water rather than pulling them down and the observer can actually hold on to the handle so they they feel much more confident when they're sitting backwards watching the skier and again, it folds down when you're not using it. The cooler will actually fit with the ski pylon attached. So it really changes what you can do on a watercraft. So this is the GTX Limited. This is really our, our premium model. This is the Bentley or the Rolls Royce of the Sea-Doo lineup. But we also have our standard GTX. So it's not doesn't have quite all the bells and whistles. So it really fits what you're gonna do on the water. We really try to make boating as fun and part of being fun is having things be easy and feeling confident about them. So all sea models have what we call IBR, or Intelligent Brake and Reverse, which means the machine starts in neutral. So if you're at a dock or you're next to a yacht or a boat, you start the machine, you're in total control. All of the controls, it's like modern cars. We don't want you to take your eyes off of your environment. We want you to stay focused. So all the controls are all within hand reach. You never have to look down to, to uh, control the different functions. So standard throttle lever on the right hand side, that is your, your throttle, that's your gas. And the machine's gonna again start in neutral until you tap this throttle lever. When you tap the throttle lever, it electronically puts it in forward. And it'll actually have an F on the large gauge face, easy to see where you are. If you want to return back to neutral, on the left side of the handlebar is what we call our IBR lever. So it's like a brake, just like a bicycle. You pull this and then you're in neutral. Now, I said brake. You might say a brake on a watercraft. Yes, there's a brake on a watercraft. This is uh, the brake system. So when this is pulled, what that does, it overrides the power and there's a, a brake gate. It's like a race car spoiler that drops down into the water. It grabs the water, kind of like a parachute. It redirects it up and it will creates drag. So it'll stop the watercraft in about 100 feet sooner. And this is how this lever works. So you can brake if your hat flies off or if there's something, an obstruction in front of you that you want to stop quickly, you can pull this brake and it'll bring you to a stop under your control. And then when you're ready to go again, you just tap the throttle lever. And all of this is controlled with your fingers. You never have to look down once you get used to where the controls are. So it's very, very easy to use. Now, but this is top of the line and that includes a 300 horsepower engine. So this is a supercharged intercooled engine. It's incredibly powerful. We do have other models. Our standard GTX comes in 155 naturally aspirated horsepower or 230 horsepower. But regardless of what horsepower the machine has, we have a couple different uh, lanyards depending on what you want to do. So this is a safety lanyard. This attach, attaches to your life vest, attaches to the machine, and this is a safety device. So if you do come off of the watercraft, it will shut the machine off. But what this also does is it's called DES, or Digitally Encoded Security System. 
So this lanyard will only work on this machine, so it's an anti-theft device. Now related to that, this is the regular key, full power, full speed. Now, mm -hmm. for somebody who's less experienced, we have a separate lanyard. This is called the SeaDo Learning Key. It comes in a green uh, float, so you know the difference. Now what this does, when it's plugged in, is it will limit the top speed to 35 miles an hour. And it also softens the acceleration. So it allows a new rider, or somebody who's less confident, a much more uh, a slower pace to learn how a jet-powered vehicle works. So the SeaDo Learning Key is a great feature and it's standard on every full-size SeaDo watercraft. And now that we know about all the cool features on this new SeaDo GTX model, let's go out and have some fun on the water.